bid for Anglo-French relations. Just tell her that we're really sorry, all right? Okay. You can't go in. All right. Va va vous. <laughs> Weekend night has become blurred, especially when drinks involved. Tonight we're out with the West Yorkshire police as they deal with a street fight sparked by booze. But when the police get caught in the middle and the attention turns on them, it looks like things could get out of control. Will the threat of being hit with CS spray calm the drinkers down? Duncan Wood takes up the story. It's Thursday night in Halifax, and although most people have work the next morning, the pubs and clubs are already busy. With 47 licensed premises in the town centre, competition between them is fierce, and Thursday is a big night for promotions, especially cheap deals on drinks. But being busy in the bars and clubs also means more work for Halifax police. We'll get the briefing out at way first. He was confronted by two young lads who blocked his path. He said he felt scared, so he swung at them with his bag of Chinese. As we all know, we have had the uh, serious sexual offences, and we can just keep a patrol high profile on the streets and see if we can stop these people getting drunk, getting assaulted. The door staff says we're not letting them in because we think they're underage. She was completely drunk. By the way, thanks for your efforts last night, and let's see if we can do as good a job today. OK? Cheers. On a typical night, the town centre attracts thousands of revellers from all over the north, and tonight, PC Safe Khan and Angie Barr are responsible for patrolling the town centre. We're mobile patrol. We're always in a marked vehicle. At least two, if not four of us. Um, we focus on the uh, drinkers that are in the town centre. I think people uh, want to socialise and, and that's great, uh, but there's a minority of people who, for some reason, either can't handle the, uh, the large quantity of drinks that they consume and others uh, have ill intentions when they come out and uh, drink seems to uh, fuel that ill intention. One in five violent assaults happens in the town centre. Here, two men are spotted fighting. Have the one with the white shirt. Come here, come here, the one with the white shirt. Don't get out of me! Get off me! Now! Get off me! Do you want me to spray you with CS? No, 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 no. Well, then keep What are you doing? Just move away. Move away. Move away. Just move away. Move away. Here! Get here! Listen! Put your gun! Move away! Move Just away! Move 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 away! CS gas is used as a last resort for people resisting arrest. It can be quite daunting when you turn up when they're all coming out and you're told to come to a fight. It's just full of bodies and it's just you and your colleague. Four, zero, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, we're on the uh, bar jumping jacks. Can we have assistance, please? Up here, Tell me, bigger. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. And you Stand up. Straight in us. Now you can be arrested for something else. Move away. Move away from me. Get off him. Move away. I've got fuck all wrong. You're getting hold of someone that's under arrest. Stay this back. way, this way, get to back. the van, no. to the van. No, it's not funny, no. get back. No. Go back. Up, 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 up. Taken to the cells, he was charged with a public order offence. But violence isn't the only result of the binge drinking culture. In the last 12 months, there have been 16 reported rapes, all linked to drinking in the town centre. Two of these were male, and in five cases, the victims were girls aged 16 or under. They are drunk beyond their capability. 
and ended up doing acts with people that I don't think they would have done in their normal everyday life. They would uh, leave with people they wouldn't normally leave with, abandon the friends maybe, um, uh, go in taxis, go for walks with people they didn't know and end up in situations where they're not in control anymore. Six of them were actually unconscious when some of the acts had taken place, um, mostly uh, drink and drugs related. The increase in cheap booze has attracted underage drinkers looking to get more for their money. Two weeks ago, this 16-year-old girl was arrested for being drunk and disorderly. Do you know why you got arrested last time? Do you know why you got arrested? Don't do it again. Just stop swearing. Stop swearing. Stop swearing. You were. You were gonna fucking leave. There you go again. Look. Stop swearing. Are you going on? Come on, let's see you again. Do you want to? Shut your mouth, man. I've been told that I'm gonna get locked up. So just walk. Where are you going now? That's what I said about 20 minutes ago. You better walk now. What? I thought, I listen, I thought you were mates. Oi, stop, stop. We'll drive around and we'll just watch you do take her home. She's a liability, that girl. You get people who are either too young to drink or not experienced drinkers, or those that are perhaps a bit older that drink beyond their capabilities. Uh, and this leads into an inability to realise that they're in some sort of danger. In one case, the person who was offended against was actually frog marched between two people uh, and she was just not in a state to know what she was what was happening to her. This time the police feel that she is better off at home than in the cells. We'll, we'll take you home. Come on. come on, we'll take you home. You're not stopping us out. Look at my face. I know, come on. Face is bleeding. I know, come on, we'll take you home. Face is gone. Let me just go home. We are taking you home. No, we're not leaving you here. You're not we're staying you at all. We'll take you home. Go on in you again. <laughs> Just sit with it. Look at your fucking face. How much do you have to drink tonight? 4473, for information, uh, we've come across a, a, a young female who's uh, heavily intoxicated. We're going to take her back to a hostel. We're just taking you home. If we see you in town again, then you'll be arrested if you're behaving I don't like care. this. Do you know what I mean? If you're saying to us, we take you then, you're going to walk back out and you're being drunk and disorderly, we're going to have to take you to the police station. You don't behave like this normally when you're not drunk, do you? You weren't like this last week. You should just try to be quiet and save your voice. Grow up. If you think you're growing up enough to drink, then act like it. Angie, just, just keep it there for a second. I'm just going to have a word with staff, all right? Do you want to swear at me a little bit more? Come on, you haven't sworn enough, have you yet? Just, just step out. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh, no, she's walking, she's walking. Come on, come on. I am. Oh, keep it a rest. I've been arrested. You haven't been arrested. I just want to go home, babe. I know what they If you cooperate with them, I you'll be fine. No, I'm definitely not going for that. They brought me off for no reason. It's just not fair at all, I swear. Oh. As okay, long as you let, will I'm you okay. show that she stays in yours? <laughs> right. Can you do that? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Right. Is there any problems you want us to call the station or anything? Yeah, yeah. Just, just call us. Right. Will you stay in Yeah, yours? just call us if she does all wrong. See ya! Bye! Let me know tonight. Yeah, see ya, fuck off. And not even a thank you for saving her the bus fare home. Join us again for more policing on the streets after this short... Welcome back. Nearly half of all violent crimes are linked to alcohol. That's according to the British Crime Survey. But the impact of the change in pub opening hours seems to suggest that the predictions of murder and mayhem, which we were all warned about before the licensing laws changed, have not materialised.
That's not to say, though, we're anywhere near a cafe culture in Britain's late-night city centres. One of the advantages of being on high-visibility patrol is that people notice us there. Uh, and at the same time, if somebody needs our assistance, they can call out to us. We also will keep uh, an eye out for people in the town centre who appear vulnerable. So we've got to make sure that we're there for them as much as we can. Is that anybody here? That's good. That's nice to see. Because we've seen Dorman here stopping people and asking for passports and everything just to check the ID. And that's, that's what it's what all about, aren't we? The police work closely with door staff at the pubs and clubs to keep underage drinkers at bay. On this occasion, visiting French students without ID were turned away. Je m'appelle PC Cap. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why, why you look brought any ID? I don't bring no, because I've never been asked before. They do look young. If I was working on doors, I'd yeah. say exactly the same. And you can see from their point of view, can't you? Are you all right with English, you two? Can you speak uh, English? So, so. Do you want to explain uh, why they're being knocked back? It's because they look really young. I know you're 18, but you look young. <laughs> this girl yeah. looks very... You look very young. You look... Uh, <laughs> how did you... Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, deux. Un, deux, tres, quatre... What's 15, 16? No, yeah. 16, 16. Deset. 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 I know, but you look... Descent. That's why. Can you can you do a bit of a mix in the decks? Il dit ce n'est pas bien parce que c'est votre première fois en Angleterre et parce que vous ne savez pas l'Angleterre. C'est pas bien pour vous de n'être pas accepté dans les bateaux. But you have to understand why they're doing it because of the license. Tu dois comprendre pourquoi ils le font. And you what's your name? This is good. You got to admit, aren't you? Just tell her that we're really sorry, all right? Okay. And you can't go in. All right. Va va vous. Let's get out of here, come on. By 11 p.m., the pubs are kicking out in Halifax and the revelers are kicking off. PC Safe Khan and Angie Barr are called to a fight. This place has been assaulted. Is that bottle over Ed? What we'll do, because although you're asking us to let it go, an offence has taken place. Because obviously she has assaulted you. Thank you. As he's tried to get them out of the club, the females um, hit him over the head with a bottle of Smyrna Vice. Although his boss has rung us to say there's been an assault, um, the complainant doesn't want to make a complaint. He says he can't go to hospital because if he ain't home on time at one o'clock, his wife will divorce him. I think that the uh, cheap drinks phenomenon that's been happening in the town centre uh, leads people to spend the money uh, and to drink as much as possible. Nightclubs have always had promotions on to attract people into their club. Uh, it's a busy town and there's a lot of nightclubs. And the good thing is that we're all doing these promotions at the moment and it is actually attracting people to the whole of the town, which is good for business. I can't see how anybody can say that to sell drinks at 50 pence is going to make them any profit or does anybody any good. Some of the, uh, the, the young lads, they've spent the £2.50 and the bars, their oyster, the whole night. They're going to drink until they are poor. Is she puking? I need to see if she's all right. Oh no, you've been sick. Yeah, you're part of the group, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 If the club or pub is run right, then it shouldn't happen. Once somebody starts to look like they're getting drunk to the point of wobbling and falling over or even slurring the words, that's the time when you say, sorry, I think you've had enough, and even ask them to leave. This girl has been ejected from his nightclub where they have been selling drinks for 50 pence. So, so we were just dealing with an incident outside of the Acapulco. Club. She being ejected? I thought you said you were going to talk to her. Look, look. Right, listen, listen, you need to... You need to stop swearing. Because if you swear and shout, look at me, look at me, look at me. They're laughing, look, they're laughing. Listen, if you're crying, I'm going to arrest you. Stop. 
Stop. Rest, arrest Stop, him. listen, arrest stop, him. all right, just stop. I don't I want to, wanted. I just want you. I'm here to help you. I'm not here to no, cause any... Here to help if I was here to cause any problems, we wouldn't be talking to you, would it? There's absolutely no proof whatsoever to say that there is uh, been drinking. How long are you responsible for somebody? From them leaving the town centre to the outskirts of Halifax to the next day? All I want to do is enjoy my life. Right. Look, they're laughing! Why are you laughing? I've come to your nightclub and paid your Simon, nightclub. just turn all the way for us. Why are you laughing? Just... I've got it Listen, life. stop. You're going to get arrested. Right. Stop. Fucking okay, baby up! up. Come on. Baby me up! Hey, I can handle a man beating me up. I don't know if I'm on my fucking life. Babe. Hey, yeah, yeah. Look at me, you're under arrest for a Section 5 public order, all right? I'm going to caution you that you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't sorry, mention I'm when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Right. Fine. I'm just going to double lock these so they don't tighten yeah. up. All right. Sorry. I'm just having to be done. I'm not going to be done. I am fired and nothing. There you go. I'm fired. Sit yourself down there for us. She was, what's happened with her? She was, she was drunk. And yeah. Gary, he told me to have a word with her, so yeah. I tried to calm down. Yeah. She, started going to, was she later went to court and was bound and over to keep the peace her. for a year. I think there's been a, um, a feeling in the town, in some of the licensees, that um, if I can make a profit and sell as much beer as I possibly can, then when they leave my premises, it's nothing to do with me. We all have a responsibility. There are parental responsibilities in here. The police are part, you know, part of that responsibility. The licensing uh, trade themselves have a huge responsibility. After all, they're the people that are selling the drink. Do you know, you commi do you know you're committing an offence? Because there's a bylaw in Halifax, so there's two things you can do. You can either pour it down the gutter for us. No, you can't drink it. If you drink it, you commit another offence. All right. So, let's find a gutter for you. Come over here. Don't pour it down the gutter now. Yeah, fuck. I mean. Don't be swearing. Just pour it down there for the young lad. Thank you. What are you going to do with the glass? I want it. Put it in there. Put it in the bin. I'll just make a note that's spoken to you, all right? We're do you know you're there. underage? Yeah, I do, yeah. OK. Yeah. How much have you had to drink? About, about seven pints, right? And how many pills have you no, had? No, you haven't. I haven't had no pills. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I don't, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You better tell if you've had a pill. Yeah, no, we're not on... Yeah, you're yeah, underestimate. I don't tell you. Yeah, Prentice Plumbers, we're not... No, we're not right. How are you getting home? Walking. All right, OK. Are you guys going now? Yeah, we're going to get a taxi. All right, look after yourselves, all right? Peace he can. Peace he can. Yeah. All right, look after yourself, all right? No, get a taxi, dickhead. Yeah, we'll get a taxi. All right. Angie, we need to be taking this glass back to ourselves. Jamie! With their prisoners safely locked up, Safe and Angie are back in town in time for the nightclubs to close. Oh, fight, fight, fight there. Fight, give me I'm a running over, sir. Yeah. There you go. Get off, look at off that. Get off. Get off. One on one, yeah. Which one did it? Which one? Not fucking getting trapped by four of you. Fuck Stand you. Stand here. One on one. Wait. Fuck you. Just come over, let me have a word with you, all right? Self defense. <laughs> you. Oi. You. Move away over there. Right, you, on the side of the road. As quick as you can. Quick as you can. What's going on? He's just fucking... See yourself down there? Start a swing for each of out here. Angie, are you all right? Just stand so there. So you right fight here. with that lad. No, 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 your proper name. Have well, yeah. I met you before? Can we come over there? Can you Just stand over here in front, all right? Hey, just right. stand here in front so, of the van. Just a minute. Don't you, don't, don't be speaking to him. Don't be speaking to him. You, don't be speaking to him. Not a word. Back to me. I'll do Not a word. All right, listen. You, just stay there, all right? Yeah, I'm outside the colour seat. Just come here. Come here. Do you know who gave this officer your details? 
quick as you can because you're involved in this incident. I'm not involved in nothing. Well, either you give the details, no, he's pointed out, seeing that you've been involved. Well, you've got a choice. Um, uh, right, then, I'm going on for the cut. Give him some of his tick, you're not going till I finish with you. And you're right. getting, you're getting her, on my right? nerves now. You're right with her. I've asked you, bud. I've asked you once. Just let, let us deal with it, all right? Are you going to look after him? Of course I will. Can I shake his hand for you? Oh, yeah, hold on. Do you know? I don't, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I know, but we've got to make sure that we do everything properly. That's why. I'm not here, Just sit down. Where are you going? I know he's Oh, jeez. Get him over here. No, no. no it's all right. It's all right. Just one more 117 nominal uh, outside uh, the uh, Coliseum, please. As they calm down, the two lads decide to shake hands. They're separated at birth, these two, aren't they? Yeah. On your way. I'll, Angie, I'll, I'll just pull up there and I'm going to have audit door staff just to thank them for what they did. Thanks for helping us out down here. What happened then? Were they just scrapping inside or something? Or just out here? Yeah, that dance floor. Then we like to be able to one out here. Yeah. Right, you know all shook hands and best mates and hugs and kisses. Thanks anyway. All right, man. No all right, so long. See you later. As we're driving around, we're looking around, see if there's anyone who's staggering about. If there's a group of people surrounding one or two person, especially if it's young women, uh, we need to just stop, make sure everything's all right. And until we stop and speak to them, that's the only way I think we can find out what, what exactly is going on. It's now 3 a.m. and after many hours drinking, the clubbers are at their most vulnerable. It's more of a, a presence uh, in the sense of a, a deterrent. So people who are loitering uh, with their ill intentions uh, may be deterred from doing what they're wanting to do, you know. And hopefully it's a bit of a reassurance for the door staff, for the takeaway, for, and for the majority of decent members of the public who just want to go about their own business and go home after a good night out. Yeah, we'll just hang around here so that, you know, we can show a bit of a presence. How many you got left in there? About four. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Oh, excellent. Yeah, what am I doing? Doing his job. I'm trying to keep Halifax a safe place. There's uh, always been an element of, that Halifax has been a, uh, uh, a good place to come for a night out. And uh, I, I don't want to discourage that. What are you doing, you? There's a time and a place for that, not here. For jumping on someone. For jumping on someone? People can still come and have entertainment and enjoy themselves but drink to a reasonable level so they're not in any personal danger. Are you just waiting for a lift or something? No, we're waiting for his friend. All right, just to make sure you're all right. That's why we're here. I'll tell you what we're speaking to you about. It's about all the underage rapes and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And then people drinking and when they get to a state where they're vulnerable and when they're vulnerable, people take an advantage. If you're just drunk sensibly or within their limits, then all of these victims wouldn't have been victims. All right, you look after yourself, all right? See you later. See you later. Police in Halifax, they're doing what they can to make sure the night ends safely for all. We're going to take a short break now, but when we come back, we'll be joining the bike cops of Avon and Somerset Police as one motorist tries to talk himself out of a ticket, but falls at the final hurdle. What I'm going to do uh -huh. is report you 